What are you doing fooling with my head here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, praising the Lord. Hey, listen, uh, we are here to uh, night to begin. Um, and this sort of seems like, as I say, sort of seems like, this has become a habit with us at, at the beginning of every year to do something uh, special for all of you guys that uh, love the Lord God and trust the Lord and believe God. And so uh, these 31 nights that we have here, we're going to be going through uh, some of the dynamic lessons that wisdom teaches us from the Word, okay? Now this wisdom, uh, we're going to give you a definition of this wisdom. Uh, what I put together as a definition uh, all these years, we got 60 some years of ministry uh, experience between the two of us. And so uh, wisdom has been the primary thing that have caused us to uh, live successful lives Amen. above all of the prison walls or prison cells that try to lock you in in time through challenges. Uh, we've made it through those things. So the things that we're going to talk to you about are the scripture, which lays out everything from God's point of view, but also the experiences that we've had uh, in allowing wisdom to be the guide in our lives. Amen. Uh, so come join us for these 31 nights and uh, and be blessed. You certainly will be blessed. All right. Dog, you got something to throw in here tonight with these young people? Come I was, on. Cause... I was just thinking about what you said. <laughs> uh, it's become a habit, it seems, the first of the year. So it's a good habit yes. because uh, we've had a year, another year to grow. So we're just going to spew some more wisdom out to you guys yeah. in these 31 nights. Amen. All right. Now, um, I want you to write this down. This is our, defi this is our definition of wisdom to you. And, uh, and again, this is going to be 31 nights, which is going to be a habit. Okay, uh, if you do something over and over and over and over continuously and expecting these divine uh, interventions and uh, wisdoms from God and revelations that we are going to receive, Amen. then it's going to develop as a habit in your life. And we pray that when the 31 nights is over, that this does not stop with you, okay, Amen. that you continue to go on in this, all right? So write these things down. Uh, this is a definition of wisdom. And uh, then we're going to look at some scriptures that define it in, a, in a other ways, uh, you know, just expressing it the same way we're putting it together. But, uh, you know, different strokes for different folks, and some people receive it in different ways. Amen. Wisdom is accumulated learning, okay? Accumulated learning, okay? Uh, that is able to discern the inner qualities of everything that's around it by a wise attitude which challenges that which has been accepted that's very good okay now again this is something that you know was given to me again this is our definition of wisdom we're going to practice this for these 31 days i mean 31 nights but wisdom is accumulated learning okay that is able to discern inner qualities and that's in anything that's around us okay mm -hmm. people situations everything mm -hmm. all right by a wise attitude which challenges, okay, that which has been accepted, okay? So I want you to get that uh, as we start tonight, and this is going to be, and we're going to be going over some of these things every night, you know, repetition, 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 but uh, we really want you to get this because this is one of the missing ingredients in all of our service to the Lord God. Uh, when we have to deal with people, wisdom is that which is the principal thing that shows mm -hmm. you, again, the inner qualities, it identifies uh, the good, the bad, the ugly, whatever. It identifies things, uh, and you don't even have to open up your mouth, okay? The wisdom wisdom will show you these things. So now my wife's going to read this out of uh, the book of James. Uh, James chapter 3, uh, verse 17, and uh, James described wisdom as coming from above, okay? So this business of these 31 nights here is not a, a academic research, okay? It's a spiritual quest. Amen. Okay? It's not an academic research. We're not trying to gain academic uh, views from this and from different, you know, viewpoints or whatever. What you and I are after are, is a spiritual quest to find the brain to uh, occupy this from the Lord God. Okay? Amen. So she's going to read this and, and, and check, this, check this wonderful uh, definition out, or, or should I say this description of where uh, wisdom comes from and what it is. James chapter 3, verse 17. I'm reading from the modern English um, translation. Yes. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceable, right. gentle, mm -hmm. open to all, open to reason, 
full of mercy and good yep. fruits, without partiality and without hypocrisy. All That's right. wisdom. Did you, did, you, <laughs> did you see that? Okay, and I know you guys got your smartphones and your, you know, so you can run into this, uh, this, this translation here, but uh, it describes it in a way that it lets you know that this is a, a personal benefit from Almighty God, mm -hmm. okay? And again, it's based on the character and the pursuit of the person, okay? Because we can all hear something, the same thing spoken, but receive different uh, input and impact from it into our lives. And so mm -hmm. uh, let's get this thing down. We got 30 more nights, okay? And if you'll give attention to this, uh, you'll see your life tremendously change Amen. because it's going to base the decisions and the information that comes to you and it's going to base your decisions on how God sees things, this quality to look at things and to be able to recognize things uh, regardless of what they are. And this is something that I asked the Lord for when we first started ministry years ago because you're dealing with people and people can tell you all kinds of things. They can say all kinds of things. People can present themselves in all kinds of uh, clothing and character suits, okay? Uh, and you need to know people's hearts. And when you don't know a person's heart, you can always go to the Lord and ask the Lord for that which you don't know. And he will show you. He will speak to you through the wisdom of God. He'll reveal it to you, okay? Amen. And so let's hop into this tonight. And, uh, you know, and let's get, you know, because you guys, are, you know, you're doing other stuff. But this is the most important thing tonight. Give yourself time to this and you're going to see exactly. Now, uh, we're going to look at what why what wisdom is and why we need it, uh, particularly in all of the lessons, okay? What it is, we're going to repetitiously go over that. Why we need it, we're going to pull up different subjects uh, from the scriptures and show you this is exactly why we need wisdom <laughs> for this particular area of life. We're going to do that continuously for these nights. And we're going to, I believe we're going to be able to pour into you, okay? Amen. Uh, that which God has shared, that which God is revealing, and that which God wants you to know about you and your lifestyle so that your particular life can excel, your faith can increase, and the abundance of revelations and, and uh, input from, spiritual, from the spiritual side of things can cause you to gain tremendous momentum in your life Amen. moving forward for God, all right? Amen. And we, we all need that and we all seek that, uh, but sometimes we just have to, you know, we have to be like an old bulldog. We have to lock <laughs> our teeth down on something and hold it don't and don't that. turn loose don't until we get what we want, all right? Are you guys with me, so okay? you talking about bulldog kind I'm of wisdom. I'm talking about bulldog wisdom. <laughs> we used to say biting, bulldog faith, Biting yeah. wisdom that bites, you know, <laughs> that bites, that lets something or everything around it knows that guess what? We just bit something Amen. and it will let you know that it's been bit, all right? Amen. All right. So uh, let's go to uh, uh, John chapter 14 real quick. Uh, in John chapter 14, we're going to look at, now, now all of this is foundational work, and then we're going to get to the lesson. The lesson's not real long, and uh, we're trying to make this, you know, uh, at least 30 minutes long each night uh, so that you guys can gain the most. Uh, and, you know, we got 31 nights to do it, so, you know. Let's do it. All right. In John chapter 14, verse 26, all right, Jesus makes a statement, okay, to all of us. All right. You want to read that? But the counselor, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all that I told you. That's 14, 26. Mm-hmm. All right. Or did I do five? Keep 25. on. Peace I leave with you. Oh, okay. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Okay, 26. I read 26 okay. verse, but the counselor. Mm -hmm. Send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all that I told you. All right? And what did Jesus tell us to do? He said, The Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. would remind us, and this is a, you know, another Little translation. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit will remind you of all that I've taught you. And what did he teach us? The big thing that Jesus taught us was this. He said, if a man love me, he'll keep, keep my words. words. My father will love him, and we will come unto him and make our abode with him. That's the biggest thing that you can run after, pursue, and whatever. 
following the word of Almighty God because Jesus commanded us that if we love him, we'll keep his words, mm -hmm. all right? And this is what this 31 nights is all about. It's about going into the word of God and allowing the power of wisdom, okay? Again, the accumulated learning, okay? Which will give us an attitude that will even challenge things that what? That have already been accepted, okay? Things That's that funny. you and I know that are wrong, that other people are accepting, but the wisdom of God will challenge that, okay? And this is what this is what we're after. Following the word of God, obeying Jesus and saying, Lord, I love you, I'm gonna keep your word. Your word is gonna challenge things. Your word's gonna, it's going to challenge things and it's going to eradicate things. But I'm willing to stand in that place. And this is 31 nights of you developing the habit, okay, of saying that this is what we are going to do. Once that's established, then guess what's gonna happen? Man, somebody gonna look at you and like, you're a brand new person, and you are, okay? You're a new, a new creation in Christ Jesus, all right? Now, in John chapter 10, verse 10, all right, we, we read this from uh, any translation you, you desire to read it, but I'm Jesus simply says, <laughs> she's going to the King James. Because that's that, what you, okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and when we look at that particular scripture, it says, the thief comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But I've come that you may have life and that you may have it more abundantly, okay? Mm -hmm. So the life that he's come to have, it comes through wisdom. The life that he's come for you and I to have, it comes through wisdom, okay? Please go with me to 1 Corinthians tonight, all right? 1 Corinthians, and we're going to look at chapter 1, verse 18 through 20, all right? For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish Are you there? foolishness. All right. Come on now, because we don't have a lot of time to do this, but we can impact you uh, with your persistence and your speed to do this, all right? That means somebody wasn't there. You somebody know. wasn't there. All right. Yeah. We don't mind waiting on you. It's worth no, that, you know? Don't. But we just don't want you to hold up everybody else. Uh -oh. <laughs> all right. Okay. Come on. Let's roll. Verse 18. For the preaching of the cross is to them, is to them that perish foolishness. Yes. But unto us which are saved, it is the power of God. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise mm -hmm. and will bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this world? Mm -hmm. Has not God made foolish the wisdom of this world? How far do you want me to go? Keep on going. First, first For after 24. that in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not verse God. 24. It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. Mm -hmm. For the Jews require a sign, mm -hmm. and the Greeks seek after wisdom. But we preach Christ That's crucified right. unto the Jews a stumbling block, and to the Greeks foolishness. But unto them which are called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ, Christ is the power of God and, and the, the wisdom, wisdom of, of God. God. This is what we want you to see. That Jesus is the power of God and the wisdom of God. So the reason he told us to keep his words is so that we can walk in the power of God and in the wisdom of God. You guys with us tonight? This is this is why, again, this accumulated learning. See, uh, all things pertain to life and godliness has been given to us through the knowledge of him. That's talking about the Lord Jesus Christ. So that accumulated knowledge gives us the wisdom, again, the power of God and the wisdom of God mm -hmm. that comes through Christ Jesus, who is the wisdom of God. So mm -hmm. you and I are set for 31 days of developing power in our life, for eradicating the enemy out of our life, for calling uh, forth things as we declare things and getting rid of sickness and disease in your life through the wisdom of God, bringing Amen. forth the ability to, to cause the, res the, the resources of life that God has ordered in this particular area, in this area that you're in, to seek you out and to find you because you're the wisdom and the power of Almighty God. Amen. And we know that nothing can be withheld from God. He does not even withhold any good from you who will walk up rightly before him. So, so this is what we're after this week, okay? Understanding that the wisdom that you and I are seeking, that we're looking for, that we're walking in, the thing that's going to reveal the secret things of God to us, that wisdom is the power of God and the wisdom of God in Christ Jesus. So as we get the mind of Christ, guess what we're going to also have? The power of God in our minds. Amen. As we get the mind of Christ, what are we going to have? We're also going to have the wisdom of God in our minds. And this is what we're saying that helps you, again, 
to have that special attitude that challenges things that have been accepted before. Because now you know the wisdom of God. Now you know you have the power of God to change that thing. So you can eradicate that thing out of your life, out of your family's life, out of your friend's life, out of anyone's life that you want. Why? Because wisdom will do that. Okay? And so we have a lot of things we're going to look at this, this in this 31 days. We have a lot of areas that we're going to cover in your life. Some of you guys are going to feel like you're a brand new little baby when we finish, all right? And you're going to grow up in a brand new different way, all right? Amen. All right. Any comments? I was just looking back when I was reading this scripture at your definition again of mm -hmm. wisdom. Wisdom is accumulated learning mm -hmm. that is able to discern inequalities by a wise, wise attitude. attitude, which challenges what has been yeah. accepted. And when you look at the scripture that we just read, it oh, says, yeah. for after that in the wisdom of God, but then it talks about here, where is the wise, where mm -hmm. is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this world? Has not God made foolish the wisdom of this world? Yes. So the world has a certain amount of wisdom, but what mm -hmm. we're teaching and what we're talking about is the wisdom of God that makes that wisdom look foolish <laughs> because wisdom is accumulated learning that is able to discern inequalities by a wise attitude which challenges what has been accepted. And so if you have accepted the wisdom of the world, what we're teaching these it's 31 days you. is going to challenge that <laughs> so can, that you can, can rely tell you on that. the wisdom it's of gonna, God. It's going to challenge you. I'm yes. telling you right now, all That's right? Good. So if you guys need a box of Band-Aids, go get them now, all right? <laughs> because, <laughs> because I'm telling you, many people run from this. Yes, They stay wisdom. away from it because they believe that what they're doing it's absolutely right, and I ain't going to change for nobody and all that stuff. All right, well, that's, if that's the way you are, but the wisdom of God is going to challenge that. They, all right? they might be the way they are, but yeah. you don't have to stay yeah, the way you are. Yeah, you don't have to stay that way. You can this receive is why we're God's teaching wisdom. You guys. Yes. Yeah, this is why we're teaching you guys. Yes. So one of the things that wisdom gives us, all right, is the privilege. All right, you might want to write these things down, okay? It's the privilege to recognize both the good and the bad activities that are around us. All right, wisdom. All right, remember we just read the scripture. Christ is the wisdom of God to us, the power of God. So the wisdom of God is always able to recognize the good or bad activities that are going on around us. Remember Jesus, and many of the times when the Pharisees would come with these, uh, you know, these questions that would try to trap him, mm -hmm. and he always recognized, all right, that activity around him, whether it was good or bad. Okay. Even when John sent his disciples to Jesus and said, are you the one or do we look for another? <laughs> and guess what? Jesus recognized the activity that was going on in John's life. And he said, mm -hmm. you know, I, I just pray that those who hear me and whatever do not get offended in me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because you have the wisdom that does that. It helps you to see, you know, before a person even says a whole lot, you know, wisdom picks up on where they're going with things. And it shows you that this person is saying this out of this, you know, or they are asking a question, maybe not out of uh, uh, trying to get information, but a question out of accusation. Wisdom is very powerful, okay? Yes, it is. And it's so able to God. help you to, to live every day the way we should live every day, all right? Amen. Now, as I said, wisdom gives us the privilege to recognize both good and bad activity, both truths the truths of a person's mouth or the truth yeah. or lies that come. Wisdom helps us to recognize both, both things. Mm -hmm. And it helps us to also recognize the practical or the eternal lessons. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're in this week, next week, and the week after, and the week after. Amen. All right? Being able to pick up on the practical things that we can use and also the eternal lessons Amen. that we can use, that we can always apply to our life and know that this is an eternal benefit, not just a practical benefit that's going to, you know, we use it now and whatever, but the eternal benefits Amen. that come out of the Word of God. Are you guys Amen. with us tonight? Okay, I hope this is not too much foundation for you, but we're just putting one down thick enough that it won't get cracked no matter what falls on it. Okay. Build our this, hope so things eternal. <laughs> all right. My wife's going back to these songs. That's what I'm talking about when you sing. All our right. Hope, so eternal. come go with us. All right. Now, please take this down. This is big for you. Okay. And and I don't want to pass this by because this is part of our foundation. 
and, uh, and I'm laying this out tonight. Uh, but there are two major themes that surrounds the life of wisdom through the whole Bible. Two major themes, okay? And if you miss these themes, you're going to miss what the Bible is trying to invite you into, mm. okay? These two particular themes, they deal with God and human beings. Mm. Well, we can say God and humanity, okay, on a whole. But then the other theme deals with the righteous and the wicked, okay? That's what wisdom deals with, okay? I know this. I, I'm an apostle. Uh, I recognize, um, and then again, this I study. Yes, I do. Uh, I studied all us out to give to you. God gave me an impression to, to give this to you. But I do know that there is a difference, okay, when it comes down to recognizing things in, in people that they may not recognize or think that you can recognize that's coming from them when they speak things. You, you're able to pick up on things because the wisdom of God is there again. You have to understand the wisdom of God. Christ is the wisdom of God to us. He's the power of God to us. So that power is able to discern, okay, mm -hmm. what's deep-rooted in a person when they, they present something one way as if it's, it's supposed to look this way. <laughs> but, it's, but it's dressed up, okay, mm -hmm. like a sheep. But inside of it, remember what we said? Accumulated learning that can discern inner qualities, okay, this is what wisdom does. And so you can discern very quickly, okay, through wisdom, if these words are coming from the, the, the tongue of a wolf or if they're really coming from the mouth of a sheep, okay? Mm -hmm. you, can, you can discern that. Mm -hmm. And you need that in these days because you've got a lot of people that are dressing up like they're sheep. And they're saying a lot of things that does not have the quality of a sheep's character inside. And you've got to be able to, to understand those things and pick yeah. those things up. We're living in some very dangerous times when it comes to uh, the manipulations and the deceptions uh, of people's lives, their minds and things being deceived. But we're also living in one of the greatest times mm -hmm. because God has prepared you, raised you up for such a time as this, time to give you the ability of him working in the scene and bringing you on the scene so that as David showed up during Goliath's time, you can show up during Goliath's time and then leave there with the victory of Goliath's head in your hand. <laughs> this is the power of wisdom, all right? Amen. And so let's look into this this week uh, and next week and the week after and the week after. All right. <laughs> now, as you guys heard me say this morning, uh, and you can read this in Psalms uh, 3, 1, 2, 3, whatever. You can see a lot of the, 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 the input there where a father is talking to his son about the importance of wisdom, okay? Now, in uh, Deuteronomy chapter 29, what I want to do is look at uh, what Scripture says that belongs to you and I and that which belongs to God so that through the lessons of wisdom and reading the Word, you can learn to read the word, study the word, meditate on the word, memorize the word, and <laughs> share the word. And when you do these particular things, it causes you now to have the wisdom of God open to you. Okay? Again, I'll say this. Well, we're going to look at Deuteronomy 29, 29. Okay? Secret things belong unto God, but the things that reveal belong unto us. Okay? And it's through this, the things that are revealed to us, that as we, again, we study the word, we read the word, we meditate on the word, we memorize the word, we share the word, and then these doors will be opened and given unto us that wisdom will show its power on how we are living and what we're presenting to people. It's most important, okay? And I'll probably read this maybe every night to us because it's through the word. It's not through the stars. It's not through the, the things that are created around us that we see how to live, okay? God's power has shown us every snowflake is different. You know that's the wisdom of God, yes. okay? Every, every, every bird out there is different. Every tree is different. Everything is different. It has its own unique character from God. That shows us the wisdom of God in his creation. But in all of those things, we do not learn how to forgive, we don't learn how to walk in love through those things, through getting knowledge of those things. We don't. We get that from the Word of God, okay? And this is why it's so, empower, so powerful and impacting that you study the Word, you get these accumulated learnings, 
that begin to develop you and develop your attitude so that guess what? You can step into this place where now the power of God and the wisdom of God is mm -hmm. working through your life. Amen. All right. Now, Deuteronomy 29, 29. Please go with me there. All right. My love is going to read what it says there. The secret things belong unto the Lord our God. Yes. And those things which are revealed belong unto us yes. and to our children forever, yes. Yes. that we may do all the words of this law. Hey, man. All right, did you guys see that? And I've used that many years, and I've spoken about it, and I tell people about it, because the things that are revealed to us, God is, God is showing that this is what I want you to have. All right? Not only do I want you to have it, but I want your children to have it. I want this eternal blessing to be passed on. Some people cut those blessings off. You know, they do make decisions about this and then they cut that blessing off. Well, through the word of God, the thing that is revealed to us, as we're going to see after the night, we're going to be looking at things that are revealed to us, okay? And you're going to know from that particular scripture, these things belong to you, okay? But tonight, what I want to do is I want to show you how these things operate, okay? So we're going to run over to Proverbs chapter 2, okay? Proverbs chapter 2. You have practiced naturally this ability to, to follow things probably every day if you travel, if you go, especially if you go to Northern Virginia, you, know, you see all the construction work and you see that a lot of times uh, there are detours, there are signs that say you got to go this way, go this way, do this, do that, okay? And so you learn particular, uh, these followings, uh, the, and again, accumulated learnings, Okay, mm -hmm. by signs and things that are put around you so that you have to go this way. You go down the road, they have a sign up and say, get in the left lane, right lane, close. You know, you got, uh, you know, quarter of a mile, everything changes, traffic change. Well, you don't go down and keep running, you know, wide open and go down and run into the, to the roadblocks and, you know, kill people and whatever. <laughs> you, you, you don't do crazy stuff like that. You follow, you follow the what? The arrows, the signs that are there. Mm -hmm. Well, in Proverbs chapter 2, okay. My wife and I, we were, we were looking at this a little while ago. And, uh, and in Proverbs chapter 2, it shows you. And let's see. Let me get over here. Okay. Here we go. I'm here. In Proverbs chapter 2, okay, uh, it says this in verse 1 through 5. Okay. My son, if thou will receive my words and hide my commandments with thee, so that thou incline thine ear unto wisdom, all right, incline thine ear to wisdom, and apply thine heart unto understanding. Yea, if thou criest after knowledge and lifteth up thy voice for understanding, if thou seekest her as silver and searchest for her as for hidden treasure, then thou shalt, then thou shalt understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. For the Lord giveth wisdom, out of his mouth cometh knowledge and wisdom. Now in this particular, knowledge and understanding, knowledge and, understand. and in this particular setting here, what we find are directional arrows, okay? Just like you'd be on the highway, directional arrows, right. okay? That's All right? right? They are here, and they are showing you and I the way to do things. These things to you and I are called verbs, okay? And so when you read this particular verse 1 through 5, and you'll see these verbs here, these verbs are the directional arrows that we were telling you that's in the, the definition of wisdom, Okay? accumulated knowledge, okay? And it says this, my son, if thou will receive, all right? Mm -hmm. These are verbs that are directional arrows, like if you, mm -hmm. if you will receive. Mm -hmm. I want you to do this. This is, this is, you know, I mean, it's up to you. You can stay here 31 nights and not, not walk in wisdom. Mm -hmm. It's up to you. But here are the directional arrows that are listed in the word. If thou will receive my words and hide Hide, okay? Another verb. And hide my commandments with thee, mm. so that thou shalt incline thine ear. Mm. Listen from within. To wisdom, <laughs> okay? And apply, again. Here, here we go. We're going with these verbs all through here. Apply thy heart to understanding. Yea, <clears throat> if thou criest after knowledge, and lifteth up thy voice for understanding. Okay, if thou seekest her, if thou seekest her as silver and searchest for her as for hid treasures, then thou shalt, thou shalt understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. For the Lord giveth wisdom, out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. Powerful. 
See? So again, directional arrows that show us how to maintain this definition of wisdom in our life Amen. by accumulating the knowledge that gives us that attitude that's going to challenge things that have been before us, that maybe we live this way, and now I read the wisdom of God, and I say, you know something? i got to change because I can't live like that anymore. That, you know? That's the key that's, this is right This is there. the whole thing about right the power there. of God and the wisdom of God being Christ. Mm -hmm. See, when you look at uh, 1 John, I, I think it's verse 17, where it talks about Jesus, uh, grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. Grace and truth is actually the perfection and the wisdom of God in one thing, okay, one person, okay? If you divide them and you have grace over here but you don't have truth, or you have truth but you don't live, have any grace, what you do is you pull out the power of the other one. You lessen the power. Mm. You weaken the power of the other one. See, they, are, they came together. Grace and truth came, came together. together in Christ Jesus. So you can't divide him, you know. Uh, he's, not a, he's not a buffet, you know. You can't divide him. They come together. So when we use grace and truth together, then we walk in the perfection and the wisdom of God, see. And that's what we are all about these 31 nights, okay? Hope you guys are getting this, you know. And if you can't, and if it's too much for you to get tonight, then we'll probably play the same thing tomorrow night, and then we'll okay. wait for you to. <laughs> we'll replay, my wife said. We'll replay tomorrow night and get you and let you let you uh, wait until you know another night and catch up with us. All right. Now we go to uh, this is what this lesson is about tonight. All right. Now I've given you some of the background things that we've talked about uh, for your setting up a, a foundation for, for everything, okay? Now, tonight, we want to show you that wisdom, and this is a lesson, okay? Wisdom helps you to find out the secret things of God, as we read mm -hmm. in Deuteronomy 29, and I took you to one of the secret things just now in Proverbs chapter 2 to show you that wisdom is what helps you to find these things, you know? Because you can read and read and read and never find these things because... The wisdom of God is not operating in you. So I want to show you another one tonight. And this is one that's in the book of Job. And then we guys, we're going to let you guys rest for the night. Amen. John and, chapter uh, 1 verse 17. Job. I said John 1 17. No, not we want first, to go. Not first John. You said first John. Oh, okay. John. I said first John. John 1 17 is where the law was given by Moses with grace and truth given yes. by Jesus Yes, John Christ. chapter 1, 1 17. 17. That was all, right. all I was doing. All right. Now, we go to the book of Job. Okay, Job chapter 26. 26. All right. And thank you guys for being here tonight again. Uh, yeah, that whole chapter. It's uh, the whole chapter. No, I said never mind because if we read it from the King James, I forgot. <laughs> Mine is a different Ah, so. yeah. Yeah. I'll Y'all get her tonight, aren't you? Let me go back to King James. All right. Job's what, 26? Job chapter 26. All right. But Job answered and oh, said, wait a minute. I was trying to so hurry up. Flying. <laughs> All right. Okay. I was behind. Here's the story. Here's the testimony. Here's the wisdom. All right. Of a godly man who was suffering for his faithfulness. Mm. Okay. Just like sometimes you do. Okay. This is a godly man that was suffering for, for, for his faithfulness. He loved the Lord. Yes. You know. And he did everything he possibly could do in his own strength to, to serve the Lord. Okay. But he was suffering from, for his faithfulness at the hands of Satan, okay? Where all trouble and stuff comes from because, again, selfishness, all right? That's who he was. He's the, the master of selfishness. Father of all you know? lies. Yeah, right. the father of all mm -hmm. lies. I will exalt my throne, you know, above mm -hmm. God. and above. He was so selfish. His selfishness produced pride. You got to watch that, okay? Selfishness produced pride. Pride, in turn, produces sin. Sin, in turn, okay, will take you further than you want to go, cost you more than you want to pay, and keep you longer than you want to stay. Mm -hmm. Some of you guys remember that, <laughs> don't you? All right? All right? Well, sin is what has caused all of the wrong things to go on in this world. All right? And it all came through selfishness, okay? Mm -hmm. Him looking at himself. You know, thinking that he was a legend in his own mind, mm -hmm. like some people that I've heard in the past, mm -hmm. they think they're a legend in their own mind, okay? Well, he thought he was a legend in his own mind, you know? Mm -hmm. 
And, uh, and so we want to stay away from that. But this is a man that was a faithful man that was suffering because of Satan's selfishness, mm. because of Satan's pride, because of Satan's sin, okay? And you can suffer because of other people being selfish. Mm. You can suffer because of other people's pride. Mm. And you can suffer because of other people's sin, mm. okay? So this is why wisdom is most important to you in these days, all right? And we'll speak more and more. So even though Job was a faithful man and he was suffering at the hands of Satan, Job knew of the secret things of God. Amen. All right? He knew of the secret things of his creator. He knew those things, okay? He didn't know everything, and just like we don't know everything, but we know some things about God's faithfulness, and Job knew some secret things about God's faithfulness and about his creator and uh and so you know in this particular chapter you will read it verse 1 through 14 and my wife's going to read this you know first 1 through 14 and you guys read this some of you i see you already reading it while i'm talking <laughs> oh that's all right we, we'll catch up with you okay go right on down but job answered and said how has thou helped him that is without power how saidest thou the arm that has no strength how has thou counseled him that has no wisdom? And how has thou plentifully declared the thing as it is? To whom has thou uttered the uttered words? And whose spirit came from thee? Dead things are formed from under the waters and the, inhab and the inhabitants thereof. Hell is naked before him, and destruction has no covering. He stretches out the north over the empty place and hangs the earth upon nothing. Hmm. He bindeth up the waters <laughs> in his thick clouds, <laughs> and the cloud is not rent under them. He holdeth back the face of his throne and spreadeth his cloud upon it. He has compassed the waters with bounds until the day and night come to an end. Mm -hmm. The pillars mm -hmm. of heaven tremble and are astonished at his reproof. He divides a sea with his power, and by his understanding he smites through the proud. By his spirit he has garnished the heavens. His hand mm -hmm. has formed the crooked serpent. Lo, these are parts of his ways, mm -hmm. but how little a portion is heard of him. <laughs> but the thunder of his power, who can understand? So see, the wisdom had revealed to Job some of these things about his creator, mm -hmm. the secret things that a lot of people still don't understand. And this is what we are going to be in for the next 31 days, all right? Understanding the secret things of God, understanding the things that are revealed, uh, that belong to us and to our children, understanding and working in the accumulated knowledge that's going to help us to challenge the things that, guess what, have been accepted by some, have been accepted through generations, but they're not accepted through the wisdom of Almighty God. Mm -hmm. Amen. God bless you guys. Yes. Uh, that's all I'm giving you guys tonight. <laughs> all right. Uh, and, uh, and I pray that that's a lot to help you guys to set a great foundation around you for the next 31 days, you know. And, uh, and bring your family and friends on. Bring anybody on that you want to bring on uh, because everybody needs wisdom. I don't care who they are. Everybody. Share it with yes, friends. share it with your friends and everybody uh, so that people can have a greater year because this is the year of the, of the receiver. And you're going to need wisdom to receive a lot of opportunities that are around you mm -hmm. that you pass by every day because you're not hearing wisdom say, that's a door open, go in it. You're not hearing wisdom say, listen, I open that up for this season. Uh, accept what's being given. You're not understanding those things. And wisdom, again, again, gives us the ability to search out the, the good and the bad activities, the truth and the lies. It gives us the ability to understand the practical and the eternal lessons. So, so hang with us this week. Invite people to come on and be with you guys as we go through these lessons, these 31 nights of wisdom in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. Amen. Well, you want to close this out tonight, doll, since this is the first night I'll give you the ability for the first fruit night to close us out. Amen. Uh, okay, I'll just close out by saying when, we've, when we're looking at this, um, the book of Job and looking at this chapter and just the whole book of Job, you'll oh, see mercy. the wisdom that Job had, even though we have hindsight. So we yeah. know some things that happened that Job did not know. But yet in all of those things, mm -hmm. Job, as Apostle was saying earlier, had the wisdom of God. He knew God. He might not have understood everything. That's right. Just like when things happen with us, we don't always understand. 
But if we can always apply the wisdom of God, which is the word of God, which is revelation from God, yes. we will make it through anything that Amen. comes our way in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. So God bless you guys. And uh, we'll see you uh, tomorrow night, same time, same, same Holy Spirit. Hey, she got this. <laughs> I remember that part. Same, same time, same word, same, same Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. She got that. God Amen. bless you Amen. guys. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow night see at 7 o'clock. Amen. God Amen. bless you. <laughs>